back to the Bookworm's Buddy. It is series Sunday number two. Um, the series that I chose this Sunday is the Thirst series by Christopher Pike. Um, it's about the it's a vampire um, series, and I'm so past vampires. Uh, I'm glad I've already read this series, um, except for the last book I haven't read. But vampires old school vampires had this they were fierce and they were vicious and they were killers um they weren't these vampires that were like oh i just fell in love with this girl i don't know what to do kind of thing um and there was a certain eroticism that kind of surrounded them too um but for the most part the vampires did not care about um who they killed or you know, who they took revenge on. That was just not how they were. And then now, today, you've got... You've got these vampires that are all, you know... They fall in love with the human. And um, they just can't kill this person. And, you know... And their worst fears are whose heart they're going to break. Um, Christopher Pike's vampires are kind of in the middle Um of those two extremes. Um, his vampires have to earn their powers, which I love. Um, they do have a certain amount of ethics, morals, uh, especially our um, main character, Alyssa, or other no wise known as Sita. Um, she still has her ethics and her morals intact, and she's kept... Um, her cravings under control for 5,000 years. Um, we're going to watch, you watch Sita or you read Sita go through changes in her life um, through five separate books. And it's very easy to follow the stages of her life and the things that she goes through. Um, but she still keeps that certain uh, moral um, ethics of, you know, not killing um, more like just using and she does gain powers throughout the series now I don't want to give a whole lot away um, about the series because in case there's some of you that would like to read it but I am going to read the synopsis of book one and maybe that will um, give you a better idea of, of, of what the story is about Alyssa has been in control of her urges for the for the 5,000 years she has been a vampire. She feeds but does not kill. She lives her life on the fringe to maintain her secret. But when her creative or when her creator returns to hunt here, hunt her, she must break her own rules in order to survive. The quest leads her to Ray. He is the only person who can help her. He also has every reason to fear her. Alyssa must must get closer to him to ensure her immortality. But as she begins to fall in love with Ray, suddenly there is more at stake than her own life. So, as you as you see, there is going to be some love story to it. There's going to be power. There's going to be excitement. There's going to be killing. I mean, everything's all wrapped up into this series. Okay, so this is book one. And book one is called Human Urges Fatal Consequences. And in this book, there are three, like, s separate stories. And, um, because I, I, they were also published as separate books, I believe. Um, The Last Vampire, Blood, Black Blood, and Red Dice are the three stories that are in this first one. Um, none of these books can be read standalone. They have to go in order. So then, book two is called Deepest Desires, Instant Remorse. And this one also has three separate books in it. Phantom, Evil Thirst, and Creatures of Forever. That's book two. Book three is called The Eternal Dawn. And I believe this one doesn't have the separate books. That is the book, Eternal Dawn. I like this one because it's got some purple in it. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Um, and then book four is called, uh, The Shadow of Death. Also, that's all there is, is just The Shadow of Death. 
And I've read those first four. And then book five was just published in the spring of this year. I think that's what it said. Let me double check that. Yeah, March. Well, the, the paperback edition was March 2013. Um, but it also says it was copyrighted in 2013 for the books. So this in paperback came out in March. So I'm not entirely sure if it was out before that. Just know it says for the paperback it was 2013, March. But this one's called The Sacred Veil. And I still need to read this one. I may have to read book four again to to carry on. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I, I've um, retained a lot of the information out of the book. So I may not have to. But if you are one of those people that like vampires. But you're kind of, you know, like in between like me. Then you'll probably like this series. Um, I just think the vampires are getting too mushy. But this one kind of brings it back to closer to where, to what vampires were originally meant to be. And um, I just, I really enjoyed the series. And like I said, I'm not, I'm, I'm just past the vampire thing. I don't read much about vampires anymore. So this one was a little refreshing. It kind of reminded me of um, the Underworld and how the vampires... Um, you know, Kate Beckinsale's character um, regained powers from taking blood of higher vampires. So um, this series reminds me a lot about a, a lot of the underworld without the the weird beasts and stuff in it. So anyway, um, that's it, guys. Thirst Christopher Pike. If you want to have a pretty decent vampire series, check it out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you're still in the vampire scene. Um, that's it guys. Stay tuned for our next series Sunday. We'll have a whole new series to discuss. Thanks for staying tuned and we'll see you again soon. Bye.